So a warm welcome to you all. We will be underway very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. The teams then, Liverpool against Bayern Munich. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. The instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem, the perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. Lineups. We can have a look at them now. Allison keeps goal. Matip, Konate, Alexander Arnold, Robertson, Fabinho, Keita, Thiago, Firmino, Darwin, Mohamed Salah, tasked with leading the line. Bayern Munich play away from home. Neuer takes the gloves. Hernandez, Utamakano, Havar, Davis. Goretzka, Kimmich, Gnabry, Coleman, Musiala, Chupa Motting, tasked with scoring goals. And we're underway. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Joshua Kimmich. In many ways, the ultimate modern fullback, in that he contributes just as much offensively as he does defensively. He seems to have a great instinctive understanding of when to move forward and, and that means he rarely gets caught out of position on the counter-attack. He should be a key player for this team. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. It'll be a throw-in. Pavar. Musiala. Chupa Morting. Goretzka. Musiala. Tries a long pass towards the front. Oh, good interception. Robertson. Thiago. Referee's given a throw. Musiala looks to thread it through. Robertson done very well to intervene. Neuer gets it away. Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. <laughs> Bayern Munich didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Looks like a good ball through. Bayern Munich have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. It's Chupo Motting. Looks to slip it through. Tries a through ball. 
Goretzka, Gnabry, chip through, timely intervention. Is it in? Yes, it's an own goal. Oh, it's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a, to a loss of focus. Well, who saw that coming? It has certainly made things interesting. Look, often chances are hard to come by in these games, so just one mistake could be all it takes to make the difference. And that has skinned the post. Well, how close can you get? That must have been a matter of inches. Goretzka hits one he's got away with one there oh that's great stuff from him it's tremendous play on his part Peter and he's proving to be a, a right handful throughout the game Mohamed Salah has a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Keita pumps it upfield. Firmino passes it through. Mohamed Salah is on his own. Mohamed Salah unable to make it happen for all his good intentions Chupamoto and it's Firmino top save that shot was travelling whistle's gone that for offside yes it is yeah as long as one voice is making the call to step up they got it right Darwin, Gnabry, long shell pass, that's the message there, has a pop, really well taken goal, and they get themselves in front, the contact was crisp and clean, that was just a rocket. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that out. <laughs> Liverpool get themselves into the lead. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Davis delivers. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Thiago plays it out to the wing. Darwin. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Davis. Koeman. Great challenge. Now the pass. He's good for it. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. 
Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. Now it's Mohamed Salah. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Liverpool ought to be happy with the way they've gone about their business despite the OG. Uh, they've been the commanding presence and uh, I see no reason as to why things should change. Liverpool head into the half-time break with a narrow lead, two goals to one. Gets things going for the second half. What a throw in. And it's Goretzka. And that's another throw. Fires it in low. Big relief, it just needed better contact. They've come out of the dressing room firing on all cylinders now. We could be in for quite a second half here. Davis knocks it towards the front. Can he find a finish now? Yeah, it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen. Ultimately, the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in. Has a swing at it! Mo Salah! Sensational! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Mohamed Salah just stayed on the right side of the defender there. I thought he showed wonderful patience, great experience to just make sure he didn't drift offside. And I just thought all around it was very intelligent play. Liverpool go two up and into a position of real strength. Look, this position ought to convince them to increase their lead. I think they should uh, be really positive about this now, Peter. Look forward. What does he try from here? Looks to slip it through. Bermino looking to get on the end of this. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Davis gets good distance on it. Managed to get it away. Now it's Thiago. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Chupa Morting. Thrust towards the front line. Hernandez positions himself well and cuts it out. Gnabry. Kimmich. Thiago tries the route one option. Now it's Roberto Firmino. It's a loose ball. Played into the middle. And that's been repelled. He hits it! Great reaction! Aim forward. And he's made certain that won't get through. Steered out wide. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then. And I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Robertson with the ball through. 
Whistle goes. He's been given offside. He may have been caught offside, but that's his game. He plays on the shoulder of the last defender and, and hopes to time it right, Peter. Tries a through ball. And that would have won it. Oh, that could so easily have been game over. There would have been no way back from three behind. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Davis. And it's Chupo Motting. Firmino. Davis does well there, alert. And the defence can get it clear. Milner pumps it forwards. Coma. Kimmich cuts it out. Bayern Munich uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Done well to tidy up the situation. Goes long and forward. Boots it upfield. Now it's Mohamed Salah. Coma. And it's Chupo Motti. Out to the left it goes. Has a hit! No, not quite. Just the goalkeeper to beat. And more, and more, and more. Surely now, beyond all doubt. Firmino with the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Yeah, he always had the measure of the keeper and there was very little doubt as to how this was going to end up. Liverpool grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. And that is that. Liverpool felt they had to win at home, and when they did, it is they who take the initiative and head on to opposition territory on the front foot. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, it turned out to be a game that was pretty much anticipated, very competitive, reasonably entertaining, and room to debate whether the outcome was fair. I would say yes.
In the end, I thank Jason for your follow-up. We hope to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button, and do not forget to like. We also await your support through the Super Chat and the Thank You feature.